ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Above the Bar podcast. For each week, we belly up to the bar with a new guest, find out what they do, who they are, and what makes them great. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. Alrighty, folks, welcome back to the Above the Bar podcast. It's your host, Sean. We are keeping it local this week. We're keeping it, well, local as we can get in New York, you know, because in the entire country, if you ever look at a map, you all, for some godforsaken reason, believe that it's New York City and everything else is 15 to 20 minutes outside of the city. That is not a thing. Buy a map. <laughs> you know, in Albany, I'm two and a half hours away from, from uh, Queensy, and that's who we've got today with us today. We're in Queensy. We brought together a, a, a unique opportunity. This is why I tell everybody, everyone is welcome at the bar. So Indeed. We, had, we had on the show, we had Lincoln. Lincoln introduced me to Laura. Laura introduced me to the wonderful folks at Queensy, and we have them here with us at the bar live. So I want to introduce everyone bellying up to the bar with us today is Tara and Jeremy. Welcome. Hi, Hi Sean, everybody. Hello. Great to be here. Nice to be here. Yeah. So let's there's, look, see, everybody gets a little bit of applause in life. <laughs> oh, there's applause. <laughs> That's, also, you might was be it just static on, on your end? Uh, it was just static on your end. You just heard nothing, but just sounded like somebody <laughs> shuffling on a microphone. <laughs> yes. That's great. So, so they're coming to us today. They have a very, and, and as you saw, you know, if you follow us on Instagram at above, above the bar at, at the above the bar podcast on Instagram, make sure you turn around you follow them also at drink Queensy and that's Queensy is Q N S Y Quebec, November, Sierra Yankee. Make sure you, you follow, follow them that they're on Instagram. Also, you can see all the stuff they've got going on. Uh, and their amazing artwork that I tried to, I am a budding nothing when it comes to art. Um, <laughs> my daughter is a tattoo artist and does like amazing oh, wow. work. Oh, wow. So she, that, the artwork was done by a good friend of ours who is a tattoo artist. His name is Danny Galuzzo, and he works at Solid Gold Tattoo in Long Island. He is Danny G at uh, Danny G Tattoos on Instagram. If you want to check out what he does, uh, definite shout out to him because we, yeah. we wouldn't be here without him. Yeah. And um, if you're following at the Above the Bar podcast, I'm already following Danny. I went and followed him as soon as I heard about him. Go check out his work. It's phenomenal. Hopefully he didn't see the things I did with his artwork that he I was like, hey, he, would love it. he would love it. I'm like, I'm getting creative. And then I realized my, as my best friend looks at me and goes, did you ask them if you could mess with their logo at all? And I'm like, dude, <laughs> I absolutely did. Uh, I, I absolutely touched it. I absolutely asked them because I was like, I'm going to make sure. Uh, Hi, Dibs. Hey, Dibs. See? Oh, that, that's probably, that's probably uh, his wife, Cheryl, that she's saying, let oh. you know, Dibs is here. She's, <laughs> she's driving and she's taking care Hi, of it. Dibs. Thanks, Dibs. Thanks, Dibs. Looks great. And I let them know, bro. Like, you have a talent where, like, you're very artistic with this stuff. I am like, fat. I got so excited when I figured out how to remove a background from a picture. <laughs> I'm like sending it around to friends. I'm like, look at this. They're like, yeah, great. My fourth grader does deal. it every it's week. A big deal, yeah. I'm like, look, I got it. So we're going to talk about, they do ready to drink cocktails. And I've been talking to all my friends about this. This is such an amazing concept. And I love the fact that you, and if I understood right, it's a malt base. It is not it's a malt not base. A, okay, so it's not yeah. a malt. So, it's a, so it is a hard seltzer base then. Well, well, so that this is this is this an is, interesting thing. Yes. So we're gonna get into is, that. Hold on, hold on. Okay, we'll, we'll, get into okay. it. we'll get into it. I, we're gonna get into it. Stay with me. Yep. <laughs> or we gotta do. We gotta do some housekeeping. We gotta keep our house house As two restauranters, you know the bar's got to be ready to go. That's this right. Because the tables aren't gonna always be ready. The bar's got to be ready to go, and we gotta get it set. So let's do some house cleaning do it. as always. We have sticker and a cause, folks. Send me your stickers. Hit me up with a message. If you got something you believe in, if it's another podcast, if it's a charitable organization, if you're supporting squirrel racing or hamster milking, I don't care. And you've got a sticker. You can, I think you can, you can milk anything. 
You can milk an animal. You should be able to milk a hamster. You, you, they milk spiders. So, like, you got to be able to. So, anything you're supporting, send me that sticker. Hit me up with a direct message on at the above at the above the bar four on Twitter, the above the bar podcast on Instagram. My Facebook is the same thing. Send me send me a message. I'll give you the address where to send it to. Send me that. We didn't get a sticker this week, but we're gonna support, give some love to Bam and Bam Athletics. He sent my bride and I some awesome shirts. Uh, Bam was on the show a while back. Make sure you go check out Bam Athletics. Uh, he is killing it down there in Florida. And uh, his food game is pretty strong, too. He's always posting, like, he chows down. My man chows. And yeah. he and he's big, thick neck, like, big dude. He's got his own, like, supplements. And then you turn around, he's got, like, a trough of mac and cheese with, like, barbecue, <laughs> like, something around. And I'm like, bro, how do you maintain? Like, <laughs> I've reached that point in my life where I'm, like, I'm in the gym. And then I smell something, and I'm like, yeah, ruin that workout. That, uh, <laughs> that one's gone to shit. Uh, and then, as always, if you liked all of our stuff, that's why we're supporting Dibs. Dibs took care of us again this week. Um, we're going to be doing a short week this week. We're having a, a, a band on this uh, Saturday, and I don't know why my brain isn't working. I have to look it all up here. But as always, if you're trying to upgrade your media, we got Media by Dibs, your connection for all things media. From logos to marketing campaigns to flyers and more, making your ideas a reality. I wish somebody would make some of my ideas a reality. It's always, I know, Dibs, it's Sunday. I, I keep saying Saturday for some reason. It's on Sunday. My Ravens play early, I think. Um, mention the phrase belly up to the bar for 10% off your first order and for a free consultation. As always, remember, this is a veteran-owned and operated business. So show that love. And then Sunday Last thing, because I want, I have three cocktails next to me that I need to go ahead and indulge on. Okay. They sat in my refrigerator for a week, getting nice and chilled as I'm sitting there going like, you lucked out. My mom tried to steal them. She was up there last oh, week. Lord. And she was like, oh. she was like, I love the art on the can. I was oh, like, yeah. Thank you, mom. I was like, this is what's in them. She's like, well, are we going to drink them now? I'm like, I'm like, well, that's why I sent you the message. I was like, can I find these in Albany? <laughs> yes, Troy, yes, Troy, Troy. Wait, hold on, where, where in Troy? Hold on, I live in Troy. Yeah, the beer universe is in Troy. Oh, we're, that's right down the road from me. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Okay. The so Hoosick Street, here. and then the other. There's another Troy actually on um on drinkqueensy.com. If you go to Drink Queens, uh, find Queensy. There's a section that's all the New York counties, and uh, we're in a lot of places in uh, the Ruck. If you want to go hang yeah, out, the and drink Ruck. In, the Ruck. Has this have, on you been, have you ever been to the Rock? Have you ever been to the Rock? Yes, yes, yes. Is it's that fantastic. when he's not killer? They have killer. Yes, killer. super awesome. Yes, yeah. and and that's like one of those. So for those who don't know what the Rock is, the Rock is this amazing bar, like very old school, um, kind of a divey kind of a feel. Uh, you definitely could see somebody in a five hundred dollar suit next awesome. to somebody with a knife wound to their neck. Like, <laughs> An active, an active yeah. knife wound. An active knife wound. There's definitely, look, no lie, uh, definitely have seen on the news where somebody has been stabbed out back of the rock. That's like, and what's funnier about it is it's directly across from the courthouse. Yeah. Yes, it is. Yes. So, you know, just head right on over there. Finish up your business. <laughs> look, I stabbed him. My lawyer was actually sitting at the bar. Yeah. And yeah. He just took me right across seat. the street. Welcome to the rock. How convenient. It's just, it, it really, it's your one-stop shopping for justice. <laughs> Street justice to legal justice. You can get it all at the rock. I may have just came up with their new campaign slogan. I yeah. love it. I or, love or it. Or cost us the account one or the other. <laughs> okay. Like, this will find out in the morning. We'll see. Okay. When they're like, yeah, look, the, the four people that are listening right now, you're good. Don't worry about <laughs> it. Uh, but, but also, so I can get back to it real quick. We have the band Sound and Shape just released a new album and they're coming on Sunday uh, and we're going to talk to them. They, they've got a new album called sugar, the pill off disaster medicine is the album. So we got them coming on Sunday, busy, busy, busy week. Everybody wants to come to the bar. Right. So we've got, I want to show these cans beforehand. And then I want to, you know, when you show your cans on the internet, you get a lot more views. That's the same, same damn truth. Look, I should have changed the name of the, the, this episode to showing, showing my cans. <laughs> I'd have got like a million downloads. So there's the first two. Oh, they're it's, so pretty. They really are. And you know what? Thank looking you. in the camera. So 
I really, I'm going to admit that I really liked the art that I did with this one where it made it look yes, like. Yes, yes, yeah, we yes. did too. That was lots of fun. That, that was pretty neat. And this one I love. I This is really like, this is the the home run logo for you guys, isn't it? Yeah. That's, and that's yeah. the one we kind of use yeah. as our, the face of the brand. Yeah. And that was the yeah. very first The very first well. one. And, we and, and that's the Cosmo. Yes. yes. The, Cos the Cosmo's got like this great uh, Aztec kind of vibe yeah. uh, woman on it. With beautiful big uh, tropical flowers, we've got the. And I have to ask you why, because this has got a very for New York a very tropical vibe. I, I'm I'm curious about that. So yeah, that's the, the is, Cuban the Cuban classic Cuban car there on the beach in Cuba are, for the mojito. Are, are one of you Cuban? Out of curiosity, no, but no. mojitos are Cuban. Okay, so we like. Curious. So the and thing. Then, so the thing about the, all the artwork. We'll talk, and then, show, yes. the, show the third one, and then yeah. we'll talk about what ties these all together. And this is the uh, lo lovely Rita Mita May. Thank you. Thank you for yes. getting that. You'd be surprised. A lot of people a lot of got a meter on her arm. Exactly. Exactly. Thank you, Sean. <laughs> a lot of people don't make the connection. We thought it was going to be us, obvious. It's like, it's like pretty obvious, again. but whatever. I, yeah. So the deal on the images. So those are – so Danny, Danny does um, – American traditional style tattoos. Ah, I like the sound of that. So that's your kind of Sailor Jerry tattoo. I love the, it. The gypsy girl that's on the Cosmo. The Day of the Dead girl that's on the Rita. And the beach scene are three classic themes of American traditional tattooing. So he took each theme and tailored it for us to our flavor of cocktails. Love it. And I like that you have a Q the QR code on the side. Thank you. you. You know, I, that's, what all, that's what all the kids are doing. Every little decision that we made along the way, you know, you, you kind of like agonize over for weeks. And then it's like, okay, I guess we're just, we're doing this thing and that's what's going to happen. And, and we're really happy that we did because it's, it's QR codes have, are like a really big deal now. Everybody's kind of habitualized to them. Oh, so I don't, so. I'm going to tell you right now, folks, I'm going to, I'm going to get into the lovely Rita. <laughs> I have to sing that. Like I feel necessary every time I say it, to sing the song. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, um, <laughs> when it gets dark, she'll tow your heart away. away. Do, 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 do. It's got a real good, like almost grapefruit, grapefruit flavor to it. Mm, okay. Nice. Um, yeah. See, that's dangerous. <laughs> see, that's, <laughs> that's dangerous. Like Cause that's it. got that vibe. Like, I've sat down and I'm thirsty. Uh huh. And I'm just hitting it and like, yeah, that's good. I'm going to get another one of them. And you yeah. don't realize that yes, you're like two or three deep. <laughs> yeah, that's dangerous. Well, that's one of the that's biggest we like problems to hear. we can we can get. So thank you. Then, um, and we we worked really hard to get exactly that response. But like Tara said, you do all these things, and you don't know until people start trying them and looking at the labels and everything else. Whether it's actually going to whether work. it works. So thank you. So that I like, and see, and I like that grapefruit flavor. Nice. Like I was the kid who, like, I actually, I have to take, God, I'm so old. I take cholesterol medicine. And then they told me I couldn't drink grapefruit juice anymore with cholesterol oh. medicine. It's oh, like one yeah, of these that's things. Like a thing. Yeah. It's one of those. And I was like, yeah. um, I love pink grapefruit. Yeah. Like, what do you mean? They're like, yeah, you What's can't have that. For you? Yeah. But if you're oh, on the medication, you can't yeah, take it. You're not it. supposed to yeah. take it. I don't yeah. know. Well, luckily, As we get in the seniors podcast, any grapefruit in it. It's lime. Yes. It's lime juice. You're safe, Sean. Yeah, you're safe. Oh, there is lime that's... juice in there. There's a little orange in there. Yeah. Is there any coconut? No coconut. No, no coconut. All We're not going to shake all... it all around. Yeah. yeah no. <laughs> <laughs> we get we get to that drink maybe next year. Yeah. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> yes. I tried. Nice. So, so let's roll it back because I'm going to keep drinking these and, and enjoying uh -huh. it. Okay. And, and I have to tell you, for those of you that aren't watching the live right now, both of them have contagious smiles. Aww. They both have like this great look to them. Like it, it's almost like it, they've got that like, oh, they're happy. Aww. Look at them. They're so yeah. happy. Uh, so happy. <laughs> look at that. They're happy. They're enjoying. They've made their dreams come true. Uh, this is great. So you guys do. You really do have a, a, a phenomenal look. Make sure you're getting out there, folks, and checking out that. And, and I thought it was just drink QNSY. 
It's Drink Queensy is how we're going to pronounce it. And it's drinkqueensy.com where they've got all this different stuff. Those of you that are up here in Smalbany with me, now we know both the uh, beer, uh, you know, Beer universe. Beer, universe. Universe. beer universe, beer universe, which beer world one of my, I, I literally sit in between two of them. I know oh, we're wow. both. Them are. I'm in the corner of two of them. So this oh is my easy gosh. So make sure we're, we're going out and we're supporting as I, as I always say, it, it's the support local. So I want to roll this back though. Okay. Please. So March 15th, March 20th, whatever day it was, I don't remember. Uh, they come down. New York city is shut down. It is. Yeah. Ground zero, you're in one of one of, if not the hardest hit industries. Uh, when we're all told, by the way, don't go sit across from someone. And I wish we'd have known back then that COVID only goes at five to six feet and above because we could have all been sitting down and been fine. (laughs) None of us knew that it didn't go below that, we'd have been all fine. We'd all just sat down when we came into the bar. We could have been in chairs and wheeled in, but you guys are in one of the hardest hit yes. industries and you still got bills to pay. And, and not you know, only the hardest hit industries, but we see Elmhurst hospital from our window, which was called, which was the, called the, epicenter. the epicenter of the epicenter. Oh, um, wow. This is one of the hardest hit areas in the, I think in the United and States, if, if for sure, world. if not the world. So um, we were, we were, uh, we were not only, Jobless. Uh, uh, we had a wonderful home, thankfully, to uh, to wait out the pandemic in. But uh, this area was particularly hard hit, and uh, the people here are incredibly resilient. Yes, and yes, um, it is a testament to the strength of of Queens. Yep, and mm-hmm. really like the the strength of um, I think the best of humanity. Yes. And I would say that, and that's what that's what Queensy means to us. We it says on our cans, Queens, New York is where the world comes to dream. The the hardest working strivers in the world find a place here and get it, whether they're from somewhere else in the United States or somewhere else in the world, and they get it so whole and they make their contribution uh, and they they chase their American dream, their human dream, whatever it happens to be. And they many of them, um, because these are the toehold jobs, right? They work in the restaurant hospitality industry here in New York, or they work in grocery stores, or they work construction, like- Those essential, essential workers. Essential workers, workers, and they are essential for all of us to live the lives that we enjoy. Um, And they got hit in the teeth again, and they're they're people whose lives are hard every day anyway. And their resilience, as Tara said, um, and their ability to adapt and survive uh, is an inspiration to us. Yeah, We had a relatively, easy yes our, our jobs ended um and after a few days of shock um we realized we were going to be okay we've we've worked hard but we've also been lucky we had you know money saved to work on this business um but also to keep the roof over our heads um we ended up qualifying for all of the um expanded unemployment so we were fine but to see the communities around us both our, our work communities and our neighborhood community um really in jeopardy um, a lesson in gratitude and perspective, um, but also an inspiration to us. So, so that we, and we, we were, got up every day and said, we, exactly. we got to do this. This yeah. isn't a time to just kind of hang out watching Netflix. And we're like, you know what? We're going to make the most of this yes. very bizarre time. Yep. And we're going to, we're going to just put all of our efforts into something positive. So every day we got out of bed and we had something positive yes. to make you know, recognizable and tangible, um, progress on. So, uh, we're extremely grateful that we, that we had this to work on during these hard times. Yes. That's awesome. I, I mean, cause I'm, I'm sitting here and I'm thinking about this. I mean, at that time, you know, and I, I always say we have very short term memory in America. Yep. Indeed. Um, yep. I, 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 rem- I, I, anytime I can ever think of like somebody going, this is it. Everything sucks from now on out. And then it's yeah. like, we'll never recover. Oh. Yeah, it's like, wait three weeks. You guys will done. Yes. Forgot yeah. about this. And be trying to figure out is the dress pink or is the yeah. dress blue or whatever yes. that even, thing was. <laughs> yes. Is even, it striped? What's even that? Even right. we're, we're old enough to talk about getting older. We're old enough to remember. We lived through, uh, well, Tara's a little younger than me, but I remember the blackout in 1977 
and that was the end of New York. And Ford to City dropped dead, and that was the end of New York. And then there was a crack academic, epidemic, and, <laughs> and that was that the end was of the New end. York. <laughs> that we had Hurricane Sandy. We had, of course, 9-11. Um, we've been through all of that, and we've been yeah. right here. And you can knock New York down. New York just keeps gets, popping, keeps, back, keeps up popping again. back up. What do you know? Because there's something <laughs> there's something going on here. People yeah. people want to be here in spite of all that. People say that, yeah, that's where I want to be. So, Jeremy, if you're remembering the 77 blackout, I'm wondering, when did you sell your soul to the devil? Because you don't look old enough to be remembering those 77 blackout, brother. Did I, tell I was you? born in 76. <laughs> and, and I'm sitting there going, this dude remembers the 77 blackout. I'm trying to do the math when I first remembered anything. I'm like, well, he sold his soul off to the devil. Like, the no, the day of the dead. So, a, a good woman. Oh. But I know you have that too, and real, real good genes. And I don't mean Levi's when I say <laughs> and, and, good, and good facial cream. Good. <laughs> he uses mine. Yeah, <laughs> whatever look, she's doing in the shower, I just slap that on. That, look, I don't blame you. It's it's the wise move. So, so what was that? I, I'm curious in this whole piece, what was that conversation like though, where you go, "Hey, we just lost our job. Nobody knows when anything's going to recover. We got this idea." Let's go ahead and use our savings. So well, we were working the idea. So this is an <laughs> idea that we, we really started with. The idea is probably 20 years old. Yeah. But the work on the idea really started about like four years about ago. About four years ago. And we were okay. at a wedding, some friends at a, at a wedding in November of 17, as it happens, down in New Orleans, making friends at the wedding, having a couple of cocktails, um, start talking to a nice, nice guy, blah, blah, blah. So what do you, oh, you're from back in New York too. What do you do up there? And he uh, was one of the founders of KCBC, which is a small brewery, terrific brewery in Brooklyn, New York. And we were like, oh, that's cool. Talking some more. We actually have this idea that we've been thinking about for a while. And he's like, amazing idea. You can do it. It's going to be a lot of work. It's going to take you a lot of time. But if you want to talk about it, I can give you some advice. I can yeah. introduce you to some people that that you want to know that can kind of point you in the right direction. And so that was the very first conversation. And then off of that, it was one conversation after another, after another, after another, after another, after another. And, uh, you know, eventually we had something that like was a blueprint. like a real, a real. We have enough conversations. We, we learned could, enough. Like, okay, yeah. here's, here's, here's the blueprint of what we need to do to, to and we did a lot of, business, a, lot a lot of, of research. market research, a lot of library time, a lot of uh, work with the Queens Economic Development Corporation. Yes, huge, huge shout out to that. Now, who, now, who are they? Fantastic. Uh, they're a local organization that helps small businesses uh, and uh, not only get started, but also uh, thrive in the borough of Queens. They're kind of like a small business administration, but but for Queens specifically. Yeah. Very localized to it. Very yes. localized. Uh, and they have just tremendous resources from the very first class. So you want to start a business, just yeah. kind of tell you what you what you should be prepared for to classes and, and seminars on uh, – Everything having to Everything. do with your business, marketing, finance, securing loans, getting yeah. investors. Um, you know, social media is big these days. They have, they have stuff about that. Um, and, and they have they have a team of advisors team of, that you can meet with once a week, and uh, and everything is is free. It's, and it's all free. It's it's all there for the whole community. So uh, we we took advantage of took every full resource advantage. they had. We would not be here without them. <laughs> And we, but yeah. they're tremendous people, tremendous organization, and yeah. And they just keep on giving. Yeah. Uh, Any, anything. I, if we I hit an obstacle. It, yeah. We have a question that we're yeah. kind of stuck on right now. We're working on getting a small business administration loan, and that's a lot of it's great, great thing to get, great program. But it's a ton of red tape. It's a, it's a difficult process. Um, and they're so supportive. They, you just, I, I can't we, even we pick up, we, we shoot a text you. or an email and, and within yeah. an hour, like our question is answered. And everybody has been like, where can we, who can we connect you to? Yep. Who can we get you to talk to? Introductions to, to, to of, retail accounts to sell yeah, into. Lots of that support. Kind of thing. And it's a wonderful, cause you know, a lot of people think like, oh, New York City, it's such a big place. Nobody knows each other. It's blah, really, blah, blah. it's a collection it actually, of, it's a collection of small communities. Yeah. So and people really, we were talking about that beforehand. Cause I was like, oh, you're, you're. You're in Queens. You're by Sunnyside. And to me, Sunnyside's in Queens. Right. Doesn't mean anything. It is. It is. It is in Queens. But you're like, no, that's like it's three right. neighborhoods over. It is three like, neighborhoods over. We got a bunch of spots carrying us in Sunnyside. Yeah. We did an event called Taste of Sunnyside a few weeks ago. Had a huge response there. So great. 
people following us on yeah. Instagram, going and buying our products at the stores that are carrying us and going to the bars that are carrying us. Yeah. Some of them right in Sunnyside. Jack's Fire Department, incredible bar yes. in, in Sunnyside. Sweet Avenue. Sweet Avenue. Yeah. Um, yeah, just great spots. Phenomenal. At giving us a ton of support. See, that's one of the things that like about New York City, complete left turn here for a moment, that I appreciate about a New York City. I grew up in Baltimore. So, oh, yeah. So you go around Baltimore. Uh-huh. Every neighborhood, every block has at least one, possibly two bars. I don't yep. know how, 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 if it's still, it's been years since I've, I lived down there. I graduated from high school and went off and haven't lived back there since. But like I talked to my mother the other day and even the neighborhood I grew up in, there's one that's still at the top of the block and there's one still at the bottom of the block. <laughs> and New York still has that. And oh, it's yeah. so hard to explain to people like neighborhood bars and are, are a thing. And I, the, I don't know. Again, we're having our senior moment here for a second. I was watching <laughs> 60 Minutes. Because <laughs> what else am I supposed to do? But I was watching 60 Minutes and they were talking about the whole pub thing over in England and how like the pubs were starting to shut down. They have like they went from like 65,000 pubs to 40,000. Oh, my God. Because um, the pandemic? Well, they said the pandemic made it worse. It, uh, a lot of young people don't go to the pub there the way their parents did because it's kind of the old person thing to do. Wow. And uh, they're running into a lot of issues with real estate developers coming in and being like, yeah, we could care less about your pub that's been here since, you know, For the like year 700, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> the year 700. Um, this is an amazing river of view of the Thames. So we want to go ahead and develop this and put apartments wow, here. Crazy. Yeah. It's like, so, but New York still has that pub, local bar yeah, vibe. Sure. Sure. And they yeah. come and go. I mean, not that that doesn't happen at yeah. bars here. It does, but especially out, I mean, Queens is a little bit different. Queens say, is still yeah. where, still where the working people neighborhoods, can find it, can find a place, right? And afford and, and raise a family. I mean, Long Island city has certainly changed a lot in the past like 10 years, but I think a lot of the rest of Queens has uh, just kind of steadily sort of morphed a little yeah. bit, but not real serious, you know, structural changes like yeah. that. So it still feels very neighborhoody. It still actually feels, it feels more like the, the New York city that like we grew up in, um, in the best possible in, yeah, in the best, you grew up in New York city. Yes. Indeed. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I grew up in Manhattan. I grew up in Staten Island. Yeah. But, uh, Ooh, but, and you know, well, it sounds fancy. It sounds fancy now, <laughs> but it wasn't fancy then. It wasn't fancy in 1982. <laughs> what? It, before before Mickey Mouse ever made it to Manhattan? Mickey yeah. Mouse. Was, Mickey Mouse took one look and ran the other way. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I can still remember like, when that was what? such a big deal. They, they were like, there's a Disney store in Times Square. Oh, it was a big deal. It was a big deal. <laughs> I I'm certainly like, didn't go to Times Square when I was a kid. Yeah. Oh, my God. No way. Yeah. Well, before That's Disney, why I said I was like. This is just like I remember watching movies like um, the French Connection and stuff like that. And it was like, yes, yeah. There's a there's a Disney store in that spot, huh? What's that Mark, Martin Scorsese movie where it's well, like Taxi Driver? Ta well, Taxi Driver, but there's that one um, where oh, he's like uh, down after in hours. Greenwich, after hours. He's down in Greenwich Village. It was filmed in like 1980 or 81, and that's the New York City that I remember as a kid. Just you know, it's filmed. It's filmed in Soho. And you don't even recognize any of the streets because it looks completely different. It's just abandoned, abandoned, like, yeah. you know, warehouse spaces and dark alleys. You got to watch uh, Netflix, The Get Down. Have you ever oh, watched that? Down, no. No. It was a oh, phenomenal, like it was a phenomenal yeah. Netflix series that really kind of got done dirty. Kind of, you know, a couple years ago, was Netflix was finally like rocketing up and they were making their own series. They made this one called The Get Down that actually has um, – what is Jada and Will's son's name? Um, um, oh. Uh, it's it's Jaden, right? Jaden Smith. It is Jaden. Jaden Smith, right. yeah. And Jaden Smith's in it and uh, a couple of other really good actors. Uh, I just remember the other thing was he was the kid in the most recent Jurassic Park movie that was the the nerdy scientist, the tall black kid, the nerdy scientist. Oh, wow. He's in it. But it's all about it's all about the birth of rap in New York City in, oh, the late wow. 70s, in early 80s and this made up group. But they're over with 
the Zulu Nation. They're over with um, Grandmaster Flash. Uh, no. They're, they're oh going and meeting all these people as they're building their career. And Nas does all the music for the start of it. Oh, wow. Oh, cool. each episode. Like, I'm telling we you this, you're like, this is amazing. Nas, Nas, by the way. Nas. Yeah. But it was one of those shows that, like, they, we're not going to make another season of this. It's actually interesting. <laughs> you know, we're not going to do that. So here's the next thing. So I'm almost yeah. done. I'm almost done. My lovely Rita. Rita. Rita made. So we're going way back. So this is this is the thing about conversations at a bar. <laughs> going back to the US, but what was the moment when the pandemic hit? So we had been working on this for several years. Um, once, once kind of the shock that I guess we were all in, like what's what's really going on here, right? Once, once we realized we were safe, um, in spite of what was going on just outside our windows and and at our jobs, um, we did we did have a conversation and we did make a decision like we're we are we have we're this time this. we don't we, we're in this we don't know how yeah. long this is going to last we are going to and keep... we knew that uh you know it, it's it was clear there was a moment there where where like at first they were like oh it's like two to three weeks and then everybody's going to go back yeah, to work like, yeah it's a couple of weeks we'll and then like work. it became clear that it was that, not that was only not, not going to be two to three weeks it was going to be a lot longer than two to three weeks yeah and it was i think around then that we realized okay we we are going to come out of this, whatever it is, however long it takes. We're going to come out on the other side with this done and ready to rock and roll because our our industry, you know, the restaurant industry is going to take a while to uh, kind of come back to its former glory. Not it, it will most certainly, but uh, but that we we saw the writing on the wall. So it was there. Yeah. Yep. You knew you knew what was coming. So. Yeah. So all this goes down, like, where do you, I mean, like I said, you know, everybody's out of work, you know, people aren't in, in their places of business. How do you start having the conversation with, with a brewery or, you know, setting up shop? Like, Hey, we're going to go ahead and start doing this now. We need to start producing these labels and well, all this other stuff. How does that conversation even happen? We had had two years of having all of those conversations. So a lot of those elements were already kind of in play. You know, the, okay. the kind of backstory to all this is that originally we were going to be distilled spirits based, which. Okay. Like legit uh, liquor. Yes. Legit liquor. So like a, basically like a vodka, you know, a neutral grain spirit base, which is recognized and regulated by the federal government and by all the states differently than anything that's fermented. Right. Okay. So uh, originally for like two years, we were working on the distilled spirits version of those cocktails and figuring out the logistics of how all that was going to work. And about uh, uh, maybe like a couple of months before the pandemic hit, so like in January of 2020, it started to become pretty clear to us that um, continuing to beat our heads against the walls, um, trying to get it made with a distilled spirits based base was going to be um, just ridiculous. Um, and, uh, uh, you know, we were, we were probably heading towards, um, a much longer runway before we would actually get to market. And that has to do with a lot of uh, like behind the scenes things, production, licensing, all of, all of those things. Uh, it's, it's a lot more expensive to be a distilled spirits space. There are fewer, um, fewer places are fewer have the places licensing where you can actually to process it process and package it, it for us. Yeah. So, oh, uh -oh. Doo -doo -doo. <laughs> I'm go ahead and announce that real quick. All right, it's time to. It's so um, pretty. Done. Look at her. I don't mean to. Didn't mean to interrupt you, but I had to go ahead and let, let everybody know. That <laughs> you know we didn't know there were special effects on the show. I'm going to let you know right now. I'm going to get a little frou frou. Who called Let's George have, Lucas? What happened I'm, there? I'm going to go ahead and have me a Cosmo. Yes, have you had Cosmo? <laughs> Do you go right ahead. <laughs> hey, it's better. Look, I, sidebar. I, if one of these said uh, Bloody Mary, I promise you I'd have thrown that shit away already. <laughs> We wouldn't, we wouldn't do that to you, Sean. Oh. No. Everybody <laughs> has tried to like, oh, you need this mix. You need that mix. I'm like, I'll try it. I've got I've got sitting behind my bar right now a, a vodka from a, a place in uh, Fer Fernandina, Florida, that is considered as the number one tourist destination in that area is the distillery. 
Wow. Sure. Nice. It's good yeah. high end stuff. It still couldn't help a Bloody Mary. Yeah. <laughs> there is n- nothing that helps that gross ass stuff. So, so you're, I did have a question about the using the liquor side to it. Uh-huh. So you're in that. You guys are still in that window that here in New York where we had the. Um, you could get a distiller's license for a thousand dollars as long as seventy five percent of your product was right. New York based. The so problem is, would that have helped you in we that? Go, we don't go limes in New York. So that was the the shot in the foot. Weeks so that is to open that is to open a, is to yeah. open a distillery. Yeah. Okay. We, we weren't interested in opening a distillery. We wanted to produce these delicious cocktails in Canada. So I was trying to figure, like, did that distill? It would uh, the seventy five percent as a New York based distilled liquor? Would that have like, like, would you been skirting the line and be like, oh look, it's we're using New York liquor? Maybe, but that's a whole. So to to set up a distillery is a whole different. It's a whole other business. Yeah, there are distilleries, and you see them. They put products out there um, where they'll use their spirits to can cocktails. Mm. Um, you know, we we should wait for your response. Uh, No, I'm trying to figure out. Is that strawberry? It's cranberry. It's cranberry. cranberry. That's why I really yeah. like it then. Because I'm like, that tastes. Hmm. And it's and it's very. Uh, I say I, I'm horrible. I'm <laughs> I'm try, like, I don't. I have a friend that I'm trying to actually build a, a traveling TV, traveling food show with in my RV. Oh, fun. He, well, he's the uh, two time. His name's Dave. He's the won two Emmys for creating diners, drive-ins, and dives. Oh, oh wow. fun! And uh, he would be so much better at this than I am. He's an actual like reporter. I'm sitting there going, well, "This shit's good," and I'm like, <laughs> hey, "It smells that's, really nice that's too." Good. That's all. That's all like we it. need. Like I'm like, and it smells good. <laughs> Perfect. And he would be like, uh, "It's very effervescent, and it's very uh, <laughs> you can see the notes." And I'm like, "Nah, bro, it's no. good. Just drink so, it." Yeah. <laughs> and that see that's me like shut up and drink it um so and i'm i've got it before this is over i'm gonna tell you your next cocktail i want you to try to come up with okay, okay. and you're gonna tell me murph you're out of your mind but it's my new favorite mixed drink oh, my boy. favorite cocktail yeah. so so here we are we, we're we're moving forward we figured hey we can't use the liquors we're yeah. gonna go the seltzer route this is gonna be our next piece did that just throw did that was that a light bulb moment or was it more of like yes, it was a light bulb moment? Light okay, because that's what I was trying to figure out. Like that to me, like if I spent two years doing something and I like this is the route I'm going, you might have to hit me over the head with a bat to get me to go anywhere. So wait, else. Wait, but like, it wasn't starting. Yeah, it wasn't starting from it scratch. Was really you had a really just a lot of the elements yeah. already kind of secured. Yeah, a lot of the things are the same. And but- the real question was, and this was kind of you know we worked with our formulator on this, like. We had already formulated these incredibly delicious distilled spirits-based cocktails in cans. Was it going to taste as delicious or maybe even better using a different base alcohol? And the answer, thankfully, was yes. So we spent uh, a couple of weeks there at the beginning of the pandemic kind of tasting through different iterations and getting to what you're tasting in the can right now. Which is a Cosmo. And I'm telling you, yes. throw your throw, it, throw your garbage white claw out. First off, you look you look like your what was the one when we were when we were kids? The uh pe- the clear lick the clear Zima. malt Zima. Zima. You look like you're carrying Zimas if you're carrying white claw. Go get go get a uh, so we don't that. we don't see we don't it's it's good vibes only for us. Yes. Good vibes. Here's my good vibe. This is way better than your white claw. This is if better. People, if people like white claw, they should drink a white claw, right? Yeah. We, so white claw, white claw has no sugar. Our, our, we, we are, we are not making hard seltzer. We are making true craft cocktails and cans. You're amazing. This is amazing. made Thank with you. alcohol, real fruit juice, pure cane sugar, and some. There are some natural flavors, but they're all natural flavors to taste delicious. White Claw is made to have oh, no yes. sugar. Yeah, we go to have no Thank sugar. You. So if you want no sugar, go ahead and buy a White yeah. Claw. It's going to cost you less too. We're making a premium cocktail product for people that like cocktails. You said it, premium. Yes, premium. Look, folks, I I am telling you, I am not. First off, I don't drink seltzers. I don't. It's just not my thing. Um, I have bourbon. I'm drinking stuff like that. These are good. 
like these are the kind of things like yeah, like I you. said, I you I could see if some like I'm telling you, okay, look, they're in charge. They they've come to the book. Enjoy your white claw, but I'm telling you, if somebody's sitting at if I'm sitting at the beach and I don't have like a normal beer in my hand, and I'm not a really a beach person, and somebody says to me, taste this, you know, and just hands it to me. I'm probably going to open that and taste it before you handed me the other one because of my own personal stigmas that I've associated with it Uh from like Twitter and everything else that's out there. But these are real. And, and I'll tell you, I got to give you the, my, my, I told everybody, my mother was going to, was trying to steal these from me. (laughs) Um, My mother and my wife, the visual of them right off the bat, they love the visual. Thank you. Thank you. And, and that, and you, you've marketed this. You spent the time with this. You know, like I know, yeah. Yeah. you could have the greatest thing in the world in here. This could be like drinking sunshine inside of a can. But if it, it just, is, said, it is. <laughs> but but if but but what I'm saying is like if it just said Cosmo on it, just like written on the side of it, nobody's picking that up. Right. You know the fact that they're appealing and they're visually appealing. That's a wild thing. I just love, and and I got to say this again, and I've put this out all week. You took a dream four years in the making and during one of the toughest times for the next couple of hours of our lives, because we all know how it works around here. We haven't hit winter time yet. So it'll be snowmageddon any day here in New York. Um, And you made it happen. You, 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 you did this. We what, did. I gotta yeah. ask this question. So, so we're we're looking at this. What was? How did we lock down? These are the three. Well, a uh, couple of couple of thoughts went into that. Um, first of all, we we actually formulated five different cocktails. So we have those three, and then we have also a mule and a Collins. And uh, we did a we did a bunch of reading on you know people launching consumer packaged goods and how people decide. Yeah, but that okay. So well, let but, me to cut. Let's throw that out. The but window. I will I will say. <laughs> Hold on a second. Hold on a second. What we really wanted to do was put out uh, what the drinks that most people want to drink most of the time, right? And what do most people want to drink most of the time? They want to drink margaritas. Absolutely. Cosmos and mojitos. Now I feel like the Cosmo is a New York City thing. Oh, I think it's it's all is over. It, like, look, I'm I'm, oh, yeah. look, I'm I'm leaning 100 percent onto your experience in those worlds. Like my my crowd, you know, is isn't that? But I, is that what you see more in the bar well, crowd? I got a newsflash for you. Huh. Ex Marines don't typically drink Cosmos no. wherever they're from. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> the Cosmo's not exactly free. There we go. That's it. <laughs> there, whoa, you know that her dad. Her dad was. Um, is that says the Walking Dead? Her dad was in the uh, the Your one one nine Marines. Nine. He was yeah. in the Walking Dead. The real Walking Dead. The real Walking yeah, the Dead. Real Walking yes, Dead. No he's alive. Yeah. Hopefully, he he uh, was there yes. when they earned that. Yes. when they earned that name. He was really? walking in uh, in the valley when uh, when Ho Chi Minh gave that speech. Yeah. Like I, I, you just gave me chills. Yeah, so. no. get, out, yeah. get him on the podcast. Oh, boy. I would love to. Uh, there's so on. You know, I'll throw this out there. On November 10th, it's going to be uh, three other Marines that I serve with, and we're all going to for the birthday. We're going to sit around on here and tell lies because none of us once once we retire, we don't tell shit that's true. Right. We, we were the greatest that ever was, ever will be. I mean, I'm so Marine. I actually have sitting next to me. That's a K bar knife spoon fork. But it's, you know what, what is K-bar? that? You know what K bar is? No. No. Oh, wow. To ask your dad. Your dad will definitely absolutely oh, know. Yeah. Um, that is K bar brand is a New York brand, but that is actually the original Marine Corps fighting knife was the K bar. Oh, no oh way. wow. Wow. Oh, my it, gosh. It's, and that's the brand name of it was K bar, and they were known for. They had the uh, the grooves on the top and the blood channel in the blade, and it was a big, heavy, heavy blade. So even if something happened to it, it was so heavy you could bludgeon somebody with it. Whoa! Wow! wow. 
So, so it was, it was so, that so that's so I know I know we're kind of like well that's like, I mean this is life this is what happens at the bar but it is that's what's so great is somebody else who recognizes that I try to explain to somebody talking to me is a lot of left turns I don't I can't stay on track and I'm right. looking forward that's to this right, we're right? We're we have it. to so, talk so about we, the exciting stuff right so we threw out the mule yeah well it's still it's still in we're the, still we're it's still in the so we, know, we, we have an interesting the, one. Is the can going to be back? The, the meal could come back. Copper can? Is the can going to be copper? So oh, we're the label. There could be copper yeah. elements on the label. Yeah. We can't make the the can yeah, out of copper. Can't, can't copper. It's an aluminum can. It's an aluminum can. Yeah. But we but will definitely, can definitely incorporate some, that. Yeah, we'll incorporate that. It'd be cool if you could like the lip around the can was copper yeah. or like yeah. the tab, like something simple because yeah. that's what I associate with the mule. It is the the copper mug. The copper count mug. Yeah. So copper. Sean, you say that, and of course it sounds great, but the only thing I think of when you say that is how much extra that's going to cost. <laughs> so as the guy who's not paying for none of the shit, I've got amazing ideas. Yeah, that's a great idea. <laughs> great idea, Sean. Amazing. <laughs> Look at All right, Cotton just called and said, "Hang up, hang up on that guy immediately." <laughs> we got to go. It, oh, sorry, phone, bad connection. <laughs> but so I, I, I. These are so much, and they're fun. They That's are. Yeah. That should be fun. Yeah. They, they it are be fun, fun. It should be easy. They're all, we didn't get into this. They're all 5% ABV. Yeah. They're all sparkling. Cool. They're supposed to be fun, easy, drinks, you, drinkable. Drink, easy, easy drinking. You can, you can you sit know, around with your friends and have a few. Out, the beach, and yes, cool. it's pink. You can throw them in the pool pink pink wherever you're going. It's pink. So it is pink. Yeah. It's good. It's not a cosmo. It's not pink. Now, if this was, so again, I've never mixed the Cosmo. I think you nailed it, Jeremy. I'm not that. I'm not the Cosmo demographic. I'm probably not. Um, so what goes in? Like, I think we all know what's in a mart for the most part. What's in a margarita? What's in an actual like? So if I went to the bar and I had a Cosmo, what would be in that? So that would be citrus vodka. Not necessarily citrus, but if, if you order it from me, yeah, I'm making it with citrus vodka. Some type of orange liqueur. It could be generic triple sec. It could be Cointreau. Um, I would I would typically reach for Cointreau. Um, lime juice uh, and a splash of cranberry. And that's it. That's it. Shake it. Shake it. Shake it till it's icy cold and strain it into a martini glass. Shaken nuts, stood. Yeah. Well, that really is shaken. That really is shaken. It really ought yeah. to be shaken. So... And if I were to put the, so if I were to put these next to a traditional, like liquor based, would I, and this is an asshole question as I'm thinking about it here. Um, how close am I to, to that? Like, I know these are seltzer. These have that sparkling seltzer. So that's, that element's going to be different, mm -hmm. but yes. from the, from the flavor I don't know. It's, it's, pretty, it's pretty close. Pretty close. Is it? The mouthfeel yeah. is different because they're all carbonated. Yeah. So the mojito is probably the closest and in, in yeah. some ways better than you get at the bar because the mojito does have club soda in it. But one of the many problems with making mojitos at bars is once you get all the ingredients in there and it's you get never, them muddled up. It's never fully integrated. You get a little splash of club soda on yeah. top. So you have a kind of a watery thing that might you maybe you notice a bubble. There's... The, you know, the limes, there's a layer of lime, the mint's all mushed around in there and you, you taste it and it's not fully integrated. So our mojito is, is actually fully integrated and, yeah. and carbonated through and through. So every sip is, is crisp and, and delicious. So um, the other two, say again? More mojito-y. More mojito-y, yeah. yes. The other two are a little different, mostly in the mouthfeel. And they're also a little bit lighter. They're not as, they're not as boozy as like that stiff margarita you might get. Yeah. But in terms of the, the 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 flavors themselves, they are darn close. And in you're, some, we're affecting the twelve year old in me, Jeremy. I want you to know that. <laughs> okay, you're affecting the twelve year old in me with the mouth feel and all that stuff. <laughs> the twelve the twelve year old in me is like, ah, that's funny. It's <laughs> mouth feel. Huh. I can't help okay. it. If you're, if you're laughing and smiling, then I did my job. Impressed. So we're in. We're now into the mojito, which again, the, oh, I I keep saying these are so fun. 
but we're going to talk about, I'm going to, I'm going to give you my cocktail. An English one cup. What is that? Hmm. I don't know what that so, is. So are you trying to stop and us? It's, and it, and it's, and it's, and it's got a soda base to it. So are, are you trying to stump us on the English nope. one cup? Nope, not at all. Not okay. in any way, shape, or form. All right. So Pims I have... number one. Okay. You know what Pims is? Yeah, oh, sure. Mm-hmm. Pims number one. And actually, it's on the bottle. If you buy a bottle of Pims. Oh, really? It tells you how to, it tells you how to make it on the back of the bottle. I don't know if you can see that or not. Probably not. But it tells you right on the back of the bottle. So it's Pims. Um, 1.5 ounces of Pims topped off with ginger ale or lime juice, lime lemon lime soda, garnish with a slice of lemon. Oh. Well, that's easy. We can do that. We can do that. And if you, I had a lady on the other day, uh, Rosemary Calendar, who's over there, and we have a normally. There's a whole thing about why we're not on Facebook, and Zuckerberg and I will fight one day in the. Yes, street. I want to be there for that. Bring that <laughs> night. You should yeah. bring that night with you, Sean. <laughs> is the pain. You know, anybody who's, who has, at this point, I almost feel like Facebook should be taken over by, like, a whole nother element. They're, like, reaching the AT&T when we were kids. Yeah. And when AT&T got just broken up and they're like, you guys are just too big. Sorry, yeah. They, somebody posted something and they said it was me. And I'm like, I don't even know what this is. It was funny. And I laughed at the post. But they were like, yeah, this happened a year ago. Uh, we're banning you for 30 days. I'm like. A year ago? I don't even know what this is. So now we're on you for the next 23 days, YouTube, Twitch, and Twitter, which I'm fine. Okay. But okay. I'm like, but so, but yes, so we were talking about this. So an English one cup is like their big one, like a summer cocktail. And it's. Well, is that the same as when someone wants a Pim's cup? May, I don't know what a Pim's cup is. I know it as a one cup. So the first time I ever had it, I was in Ibiza, Spain, mm-hmm. nice. and sit, sitting at the bar, I was very in the Marine Corps. Very well, look, look, it doesn't wow. get any better than that when Uncle Sam sends you to Ibiza, and you're like <laughs> 21 years <laughs> old, and you're and you're like, the hell is this? And <laughs> this at that time, nice. <laughs> like the reality check for me was when we were in an area there called San Antonio on the island, and we're sitting there, and this gentleman and his wife were there. And I'm 21 and they were probably in their 50s. So, you know, they were much older than we were. And he's like, yeah, we were just looking for a quick getaway vacation. Um, And we're like, okay. And he's like, yeah, we spent 5,000 pounds to come here. So in my mind, I'm like, that's $5,000. One of my buddies was originally born there. And his name's uh, Blanchard. And Blanchard's like, Murph, you're an idiot. I'm like, I don't know what the hell the exchange rate is. He's like, bro. 5,000 pounds at that time was a dollar 75 of, of a, a one pound equal to dollar 75 American. So this guy had actually spent like close, like eight, nine grand to go on this one week vacation. And in my mind at that time in my life, I was like, I was blown away. I was like, this is incredible. And there's so many stories not fit for the air with that place. It's just, it's, <laughs> It, it's just one of those kind of places, but that was the first time. We're going to meet up at the Ruck, and you're going to tell us the rest of the story. The of the story. If, you, <laughs> if you guys come to the Ruck, my bride and I will be more than happy to come down and hang out, and we will drink nothing but lovely Rita's, oh, Cosmos. Come in. We'll, be, we'll be up there. We're going to let you know. Yeah, We'll be up there. We'll, we'll let you know. And, and, and then I'll take you to go get tiny hot dogs. Perfect. Okay. Have you ever had Perfect. Albany tiny hot dogs? No. no. I got to explain this to people. This is like the weirdest Albany thing. So like growing up in Baltimore, we had crab cakes and pit beef sandwiches and all these cool things. You get to Albany. That's (laughs) up a little further north. Um, (laughs) But you get to Albany and they do these little tiny hot dogs and little tiny hot dog buns with a chili, like a chili sauce. They call it meat sauce. Yes. They love love it. It's like this thing. Oh, that's awesome. But yes, that's my that's my next one for you. Even if you just make one for yourself, make yourself a, a, a one cup, and it probably a Pim's cup or a Pim's one cup. It's probably the same damn thing. Seems to me it's the same thing, but yeah, but the rose by another name. Yes, yeah, and, and they garnish it with like strawberry sometimes. Yeah, it's a Pim's yeah. cup, and sometimes yeah. there's cucumber thrown in there. Like, is it, you can put a bunch of different stuff in there. Yeah, uh, I got to tell you a cucumber story. You ready for a good cucumber story? 
Can we tell it? Can you tell, we can tell this one here? We can tell this one here. My wife has All heard right. this story a hundred times and she loves it. And, this, and you will appreciate this as this, as somebody who is now a brewer. Let's get this. First. Uh-huh. this one smells good. I like the mojito. You can definitely, you can, it's got the, the, uh, what the hell is that flavor? Like the mint, like you can mint? taste the, the mint. You can definitely catch the mint in that. So let me tell you my cucumber story. Okay. okay. And you'll love it. And this will, this is something to think about is idiots like me tell you, put this in a can. It'll be great. You know, <laughs> you'll love it in a can. It happens every um, day. By the way. Yes. <laughs> and I imagine it is like, ah, you do that. You ain't tried nothing yet. Let me tell you about this thing. This thing right here. You put this in the can. Everybody will drink it. I drank it in a can. Yeah. Um, so we're, I love Magic Hat. If you've never had Magic Hat number nine, oh, oh yes. yes, oh yes, phenomenal. Yes. It, you know, they're in up this area of New York where I'm at. We were talking about it uh, today. A good friend of mine, John, and I, we get the opportunity to drink the best beers in the world, bar none, because Bur- Burlington's not far from us. Bennington's right across. Up, up here in New York, we have all the apple orchards. So we got nine pin cider. We got all these amazing, you know, just things up here. Uh, Oma gangs up here. We, we just oh, have yeah. ac- access to them. So one year, Magic Cat created a beer that had hibiscus, uh, cucumber hibiscus in it. Super clean flavor. Like mm-hmm. that cucumber, like if you ever had the cucumber Gatorade, it's that like oh, oh, did you know oh, they make that? yes, the cucumber Gatorade is like insanely good. Wow, it's, it's like this super clean, clean flavor. It's that's that cucumber so taste. I haven't even heard of that. Oh, oh that's God. so good. Uh, look, for all of you that can't see this, Tara's over here, like taking notes like this. Guy. I am I literally like in a minute here. She's like, I don't know what this guy's Gatorade. talking about. <laughs> Insane people. Um, cucumber Gatorade, K bar knife. Yeah, your dad will know exactly what that Copper. is. Copper. A copper the English one cup. English well, that's it. The, the pin and the get one down. And the get and the down. Get down. Oh, the get down. That's so good. I love that show. I really wish they would have kept that one on. So we go to the brewery. And if you've never been out to Burlington, it's so worth it. Go to a bed and breakfast. Um, my favorite burger joint in the entire country is there. This place called the farmhouse. It's this is like Burlington, oh. Vermont. Burlington, Vermont, the farmhouse burger. We have a friend with a cabin in Rutland. Rutland is south, about an hour and a half. Okay. All right. Yeah. And, and, we'll and Rutland's out. also yeah. known as Rut Vegas because <laughs> um, you're close to Killington there. And um, yeah, go to Killington. Just your okay. friend's cabin. That's great. Lock the doors when you're done in Rutland. Just go over. Okay. No, actually, his, his place is in Mount Holly, in fact. At Mount Holly's real nice. Yeah. Real, mm-hmm. Rut Vegas. Yeah, no, no. Rutland's where you go, like if you have to get like some grocery shopping and stuff. Yeah. Now yeah. Holly's like or there. meth or meth. Really? Okay. Yeah, it's. A, well, I work. Look, I, I told you, I work. Idea. I work the trains there. We used to pull in there, and you'd have to be careful because the zombies would be walking around. Really? Oh, wow. God. Yeah, it was bad. It was bad out there. Really? You know, the people there are for the most part are good, but they've they've hit that mark in yeah. Rutland. Oh, that's and sad. Oh. The Very zombies sad. are around there. But um, and again, Burlington, the farmhouse go up there, biting into their burgers at the farmhouse is like biting into meaty butter. All right. Oh, I love meaty butter. Yeah, it's like it's incredible. As I'm completely lost all track. Of I don't what know. We're what I okay, so we were at Magic Hat. So my wife and I go to Magic Hat. Magic Hat, yes. Yeah, Magic Hat. Right. And we're at the brewery. So you get me talking about food. It's all bad. <laughs> and I'm into my and I'm my third uh uh. And I wanted to call it Quincy for a minute there, and that's not right. Some people do. Some it's people okay. do, and it's fine. Squeezy. So Quincy, Quincy. Uh, but so we get there, and we do the tour, and it's like adult Willy Wonka to do this tour. There's like all these cool things and like a chair with angel wings on it that you can sit in. And yeah. like all the – they take all their labels, and they like make movie posters out of them. Oh, it fun. really is like – like adult Willy Wonka. Is there a river of beer that you can jump into? They gave you um, <laughs> four six-ounce free beers at the end of the tour. 
Okay. Uh, uh, no, uh, no. So there was close to a river there. <laughs> um, so we get to the end and we're, we're going through the whole thing. And my beautiful bride and I, we were still dating at the time and she really enjoyed this beer. We couldn't find it anymore. And we get to the end and she's not a beer drinker, but she says to the gentleman, she goes, Hey, I really like this. And neither one of us can remember the name of it. She's like, it had high. Oh, cucumber, high biscuits. We ain't never making that again. That quick. And that like pointed, like, don't ever ask for it. This shit ain't ever happening again. Oh my God. Comes out of his mouth. And you know, at this point I'm like, okay, I need this story. This is a, this is a story. So he tells us they, it took so much cucumber hibiscus flower extract to get mm, the flavor yeah. the palette they were looking for. Yep. Yeah. It stained the lines at the brewery. Oh uh, my God. So they, they were like, well, we'll just blow the lines out. They blow the lines out. It still ru- ruins three more batches, like full Ooh. batches of number nine they have to bring a professional company in to clean all the lines of the entire brewery that's expensive (laughs) and and i'm like i'm like he's like yeah we're never never doing that again so that that's my that's my uh, so when you listen to idiots like me that are like this sounds like it'll be great you go and put this in a can this is so amazing this is the greatest thing i've ever heard of and then you turn around, you're like, yeah. Well, yeah. here's one of the things that you talk about that, that that's challenging for a brewery. So we we are not brewers, okay? We we contract and our alcohol base is produced for us um, actually by the Paradox Brewery in North Hudson, New York. They're fabulous. Another veteran-owned yes. veteran owned business. Yes. Are they up by me? North uh, Hudson. They're North Hudson. They're way, up in the, way up, up in the, north. Um, in the Adirondacks, north. way up yeah. north. So they're, they're north, like, so they're north of me. Yeah. Yes, they're north of you. Yeah. Okay. Great brewery. If you see, shout out Paradox Brewery. Yes. You see their beers, try them. They're great. Veteran-owned business. Phenomenal. Great people there, too. The whole the whole team there is phenomenal. Um, and they do a tremendous job making us this beautiful alcohol base. So they're, they're doing the brewing. Then when we when we add the flavors and, and do the carbonation, that happens at a different facility. So oh, really? part, of our, part of our secret sauce... And this is part of what took four years to develop was sourcing our ingredients and our flavors and our, and our formulas, but also finding the specialty places to do these things for us and, and putting them all together. Um, and kind of putting, putting this puzzle together that, that ends up with these cocktails that you're enjoying in front of you. So one thing, well, one thing about that, people say, well, don't you, aren't you worried that, Someone could, you know, so like, can you, can you, did you trademark your or patent your recipe? I'm like, well, we can't, we couldn't really do that. And they said, well, aren't you worried? And I said, if someone want, if someone thinks they can figure this out, like go for it. Yeah. Well, like, you could figure, you could reverse engineer Coca-Cola, but that doesn't make it Coca-Cola, right? right. Coke's not worried and about also, that. And also it doesn't mean that you can just like walk in some. You can't just wake up one day and Coca-Cola. say, oh, I figured out what they put in Quincy cocktails. I'm going to do it. I mean. Go for it if you think you can. I mean, but yeah. also, but but the, the the reason I thought of that, but, or, but don't go for it. The point is also, <laughs> if we, yeah, don't, yeah, don't go for it. Um, bring your house and drink it by yourself. We did it for you. Be sad and drink it at your home. You can't do it. You buy, yeah, buy buy some, buy, I don't know, buy Facebook stock or something. You, you'll do better. <laughs> <laughs> you, you'll definitely make more money. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. But we could we could do flavors like that. Because we're we don't we're not worried about ruining um, brewing lines. Okay, right? yeah, see, I'm I'm blown away by that. Yeah. So I, I I didn't know that was a thing. So I it's thought like you're making a cock, you're making these. It all comes out one spot. It's done, and then no, it's, it's basically like up. you're making a cocktail just making on a, cocktail. a large scale. You're putting right? the You've juice, got your base alcohol, sugar. your juice, your flavors, your sugar. You all you mix it all together. So I had no idea. So it's I, a five thousand. It's a five thousand gallon tank. shaker. Shaker. It's basically a five thousand <laughs> gallon shaker, and it's agitated. There's a big. There's a big fin at the bottom. Shakes it up. Right, and and shea was disturbed. Right? Yeah. Not shaking, mm-hmm. but it agitates it until it's it's fully uh, emulsified. Island dentist standing there going, 
What are you doing? This is yes, horrible. Exactly. That's not even velvet. <laughs> this is horrible. I can't believe it. Just yes. annoying the entire thing. That's the secret that's in New York. York. You got to live here in New York to understand that. One. That's <laughs> agitating. Yes. Mom, I'm fine. I look at you. You're getting so thin. You're not eating. The whole cocktail at that point is just agitated. You're very good, Ron, Ron, that having grown up in Baltimore. I just want to say kudos to you. Thank you. That's a lot of uh, Saturday Night Live. Right there. <laughs> yes. Little, little little SNL never hurt anyone. No, not at all. So any um, other any so so here we are now. Fast forward, we we've we've got a distillery. We've got everything. We're this is being produced. This is. You know, it, it's up here in, in Albany, you know, up in Smallbany. If you've made it here, you've made it somewhere. I do I mean, actually gosh. want to give a shout out, by the way, yeah. to all. We actually, we're, we are available in, in many retailers up by you. Tell so, me where. I just huge wanna, thanks to the Hudson yes. Valley and Central New York. I mean, we thought we, been, we thought, we thought, like, we're in a ton of places in Queens, and that makes sense, right? Different places around the city and the kind of the near and suburbs. Yes. That all made sense to us. So we the, the way upstate has embraced this product. Thank you. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. And Tara's gonna give some shout outs right now. I'm gonna give a shout out to Deli and Brew in Troy. I know the owners. There you go. Oh, tell them thank you. Thank go have you. a sandwich in a Queensy. Yes. Uh Elixir 16 in Troy. Okay, I have to find that the, one. The two beer universes. We have a Hoosick Street and Northern Drive. The Rock, of course, and Troy Beverage Center. I know all those locations. My daughter. So here's the funny. So Deli and Brew. Yeah. My oldest daughter, who any day now I'll have my fourth grandchild. Oh, um, congratulations. congratulations. She used to work at the Deli and Brew. No wow. way. And my, an old, co here's a real, here's a real stretch one. My old co-worker, his his ex-wife's new husband is the owner of the deli and brew stop it that is crazy small um, world yeah like well all, there's a reason they call it small bunny yeah <laughs> it, it, it really is so what's the next so any big events coming up where you guys are going to be there or there's going to be anything featured where somebody could sit there and say hey you know i'm going to go check me out of queensy i'm going to go get me situated uh, you got to get it. And I'm going to throw this out there because I have ideas and it doesn't cost me anything to give away ideas because <laughs> I'm not the one who has to do this stuff. Have you ever thought about like anywhere on the website, pairing them with sandwiches or anything? Oh, like, oh we're yeah. yes, we, we thought of it. Look at there. It's about that. I, I thought of it too. Day. My idea. You didn't I like it. it. I put I like it. it. Yeah. <laughs> you can do it. Look, Sean, if you want to, yeah. if you want to be the sandwich spokes model, I, you like certainly that. can. You're hired. <laughs> you're hired and we you're hired and we're going to pay you the same salary we pay ourselves congratulations awesome. that's a big fat zero but yes <laughs> <laughs> that's perfect oh, I, yeah. I i understand that but but yeah that like I, I that's another thing that came to me like sam like i'm a there's a fat kid that lives in my soul maybe i had to get bam i have to get bam and be like bam go find these cocktails and like, cause he just eats everything. That dude. Where does Bam, Bam live? Bam is in Florida. He's but in Florida. I, I, he's in Florida. But I'll tell you, his his arms. I promise you. I say all this. His arms are about that big around. He's oh. a he's a monster. Like he's like wow. he's like I'm gonna go eat like a sandwich that would feed a small village, and yeah. then I'm gonna go like push a whole lot of weight up in the air and down. He's a monster. <laughs> so any other no, any events? Has, we got we some have stuff coming a up. Huge number of events i'm gonna right, where, where are we up. going to find you guys well we are um uh this friday we're uh doing a, uh an event at beer world monticello uh so the pine island tap room and after that the pine island tap room in pine island and, and that's then, all over 287 uh-huh that's all on friday uh on saturday we'll be at beer world in liberty and from also, one to three. yeah, from one to three. Also, Beer World Middletown from four to six. Um, on Sunday, we're coming back to our home turf. We're going to be at City Fresh in Astoria from 12 to three. And then the next weekend, Friday the 29th, we're going to be up in your neck of the woods. 
We're going to be on, um, on, on that Friday. We're going to be at EBI in Saratoga. That's Eddie's beverage. That's right up the road. Yep. From uh, three to five. Uh, that night we're going to Harvey's in Saratoga. We're going to be there from, uh, six to eight. And then on Saturday, um, the 30th, we're going to be at Southside Beverage from, uh, is that, a, is that up, is that up in Saratoga? That's yeah. as well. All right. So let me put that in there. Cause I, <laughs> I, I promise you <laughs> the 29th. Yeah. If I'd miss an event on the 29th, um, I you you can bury me with one of these cans. I, I can't. So one of my longest and closest friends, her and her man who have been together as long as my wife and I've been together are finally get Dave and Lori are finally getting married. Oh, All right. so congratulations, Dave. And it's on a Friday and it's on a Friday at four o'clock. They're finally getting married. Nice. And, uh, it's so funny because she sent me a message and she's like, we're getting married. Finally. I'm like, really i'm like this is happening she's like yeah i'm like and she's laughing the entire time because it it's a great story one day i'll have to get her to tell it but it's a great story about how this all went down so we're at on so i'm putting this in my calendar so where was saturday saturday is at south side beverage from south New York side That's next saturday that's saturday the 30th right south south side beverage yeah on the third what times noon to two all right so that's so it's noon somewhere Noon to two. I'm putting this in my calendar right now. And then what because, do we got Saturday? There's got to be something Saturday night. Yeah, we haven't figured out Saturday afternoon and evening yet. We know. We know. To, if you're in Saratoga, um, it's not City Beer Hall anymore. What the, God, what the hell is the name? It's Caroline Street. Goodness gracious. Um, I'll have to think about it for a minute. But there's, so Caroline Street is like the street in Saratoga. Uh-huh. Um, and Maybe it is still called City Tavern. At the end of Caroline Street, there's a bar that's like three or four stories tall. And each it used to be each level was a different theme. Oh my yeah. gosh. And um that was for the longest time was like the spot in Car there. And then at the other end is this uh little like pizza shop that makes doughboys. Mm. And they made something about they made them change the name or something like that. Don't ask me how all that mm-hmm. works, but uh, yeah. but there there's a spot. And I want to say it's still called City Tavern. Uh, hmm. One of those like friend of a friend situations. Yeah. Used to know the owners, but if you want to look for a spot in Saratoga, that's one. Or you just go up the road to Lake George and you go into the village of Lake George, and that's another one of those like ooh la la, I got money spots. Ooh. You know? Swanky. yeah oh, oh yeah like well, we that? don't we don't have money so we won't be going there yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> Look, I, I told you tiny hot dog we got it we gotta get tiny hot dogs this is amazing i i love your vibe i love the energy Thank i you. love the positivity everything about it uh every one of these cocktails is good i'm halfway through my mojito nice. um so I'll be relaching as I watch. I'm probably watching. I think I have an episode of Walking Dead. I still got to watch because oh, nice. I, I'm a. I love Walking Dead. I don't care what anyone says. I love it when people are like that show. It's all yeah. That show's been around ten years, and somehow we all still watch it. And they have two different spinoffs, and and a bourbon. Yeah, and it's the best cheap bourbon I've ever had. It is like <laughs> a, like twenty five dollar bottle of bourbon. And it's amazing. Right on. Um, it's one of those ones, like, if you want a glass of bourbon, you can have a glass of bourbon. It's not like, like, I'm a big Heaven's Hill fan. Yes, never had good stuff. Uh, which I just found out about, did you hear about that whole strike? No, we're all, like, folks, if yeah. you've already tuned out, we're going to talk about some shit that means nothing to anyone else but people who have worked <laughs> in a bar or like to drink. Uh, and they just had a big strike. Did not hear about that. Really? I didn't hear about it either. Um, where a friend of mine lives at up in Plattsburgh, New York, they can't get um, Buffalo Trace oh. because all the bre- so they're all union breweries or distilleries, yeah. I should say. So the union went on strike, and when it went on strike, they were like, weren't producing anything, weren't bottling anything. Mm-hmm. So finally, the union, the uh, company said, "We've tried with you, folks. Um, we're just going to hire scabs." Ooh. and i'm i'm a union guy and i was like oh shit 
And they were like, we're just going to hire scabs. And the union went, stand by. Let's go ahead. And uh-huh. So I guess now they're going to be making it. But I didn't realize Heaven Hills is the parent company for like a ton of these different distilleries down there. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. If you go up the chain, there's really yeah. only it's really only three or four spirits companies in the world, really. Yeah. Well, in one, Unless, like, isn't like Seagram's like one of them? Yes. Yeah, Seagram's. Like that's one of the big, big, big ones. Like they own, they own stuff. When you're like, they own that. Exactly. Beam Centuri, yeah. Diageo, Diageo, Constellation. Mm-hmm. And where's Diageo out of? They're uh, English, they're, they're UK yeah, based, UK. but they own. If you if you, own, you walk in a liquor store like and and look around, it's like seventy five percent of the stuff on the shelves is owned. Those brands are owned by yeah. Diageo. Wow, like like the name sounded familiar to me. That's why I was like. I've heard that name. I don't know why I know that name. Yep. Yeah, you've heard that but name. That's They're like, out there. That's like, the, uh, <laughs> that's like the eyeglass company in Italy that actually owns all the brands of eyeglasses that you can ever imagine. Yeah. You don't realize, right. Yeah. And then you go like, well, these are these are Ray-Bans. They're an American company. Mm-mm. No. Them bitches are made in Italy. And it yeah. doesn't mean, it does not mean that the Diageo, and I'm not knocking. The, no, I know what you're saying. Diageo products. So they, they acquire you know, they acquire brands and over decades, there's been mergers, acquisitions, and they acquire smaller brands. It doesn't mean that the, that the small, what were the small brands are not still making quality products, but it just means that the, the larger corporation in some cases can offer them, um, you know, just more efficient supply chain, back off of support. So in distribution, so in some cases, a small operator who, and, and we know all about this, you know, is neck deep in paperwork and neck deep in, in figuring out the legalities of all this our days. and supply it's chain, our right? <laughs> if we, if we pick up a phone call looking for aluminum cans, you right? You don't want to see our desk. They just laugh at us. The, the, the yeah. can manufacturers, and for good reason, they laugh at us because we want a few thousand cans to get our little business off the ground. So if, if you're a company like Diageo, for example, and you acquire a small, a small business that's struggling and paying, af- buying aftermarket cans, which is what we end up buying, that costs a lot more than direct from the manufacturer. A big, a big player like that can step in and solve all that for you and get, get the cans and the other inputs. Just it just it's all there. One, they're, the, one they're their own buying group. They're their own two, buying. Two, group. Your cost yeah. of goods goes way down. So a kind of um, a kind of treading water. You know, the brand and our, our brand is 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 going great. People love it. We're selling it all over the place. But the, the real challenge, and this I think would apply to any small business, because you're doing everything at a smaller scale, it just costs you more and it's more difficult to get access to the inputs and to things like shipping. You know, that's that's very that one of our most expensive things is moving our stuff around. So anytime it's you can do expensive and it's yeah, really, I mean economy uh, of scale is just a logistics. just a, a thing in business. So yeah. um, a lot of times a, a larger company like that just makes life a lot easier for the smaller operator and they can still do their thing in some cases. Not all. Like we could do a whole series of shows yeah, on what happens. Oh yeah. Small companies get bought, <laughs> but in some cases, it just means that a lot of the headaches go away, so that the 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 people at the heart of it can focus on their passions um, and do the things that that they do well, um, and all the all the other stuff that supports that gets taken care of more efficiently. So just uh, just to rattle off a few of these names, I looked up Diageo. Uh, you may have heard of uh, Captain Morgan and uh, Guinness and uh, J&B and Crown Royal, Bullet, Kettle One, Tanqueray, Gordon's, Casamigos, Booth Gin, Dom Perignon, Oban, and the list goes on and goes on. on, and on. Don P. They own Don P. But you know what I, I think with a lot of that stuff is they're – because I don't know if you knew this. Unilever owns Ben & Jerry's. Yeah. Yes. So yes. you know, most of these companies do the same thing. You belong to us. Keep doing what you're doing. Just make sure you sign the check over. Yeah. Yep. We don't. We don't. We don't want to get into your operation. We don't want to bother with any of that. Right. Just please make sure you the the check just needs to go over here. If you need anything, right. call <laughs> me. Just let I us got know. You. Just yep. let me know. Yeah. It's not a problem. Yep. Yeah. But please make sure you sign the check over. Yeah. Um, we mentioned Oma Gang. Oma Gang is now owned by a Belgian company. Mm. Uh, which I will say again, that's another you got to come up here. My wife and I keep wanting to go up there um, for one of their concerts. They have a, it's something like 200 acres that their liquor license covers. Oh, wow. 
and they do they have a natural amphitheater beautiful and they do they do live concerts and it's next to cooperstown oh nice right. yeah so we're gonna you're gonna come up yeah we're gonna eat tiny hot dogs yes. we're gonna, yes. drink, we're gonna lo- lo- drink lots of ready to drink cocktails we're gonna get yeah. a, we're gonna get a brawl in the ruck <laughs> Get stabbed in the neck. The and the lawyer is going to help us out and take us across the street. <laughs> St. Peter's is just around the corner, so we are oh so good. We are <laughs> so good. The one stop stop one stop shopping that is the Albany metropolitan area that yes. you just didn't know was there. And what's a pizza place we love in Troy? Um, oh, De- DeFazio's. DeFazio's Pizza. Oh boy! Oh, you know about DeFazio's? Oh, oh, that is you bet we amazing. We were driving home from Saratoga one time, and I we probably no, smelled. No, it was the, actually we're driving home from. We're driving home from our friend's cabin in Vermont. And we're like, oh, we gotta stay. We gotta do something. Oh, and we're no, like, where we And we went to Defazio's, and it was like we just stumbled into it. Like, so I know so many people is fucking tuned out. I don't care. This is my <laughs> show. This is my bar. I leave it open as long as I want to. So, who's the pizza guy from uh, Barstool? You know what I'm talking about? No, 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 don't know. Know. Yes, but don't know his name. So there's this guy on Barstool, and he always gives like these great ratings. So he gave a rating to a pizza place up in uh, Saratoga. He came up for race season. And he was like, gave him an amazing rating, like a 7-2 or 7-3. I, I don't watch the guy, so my sons had to explain this to me. Mm-hmm. They're like, this guy, if he gives like a 7-something, that's pretty impressive. And he's like, at 2 o'clock in the morning, it's a 9-2, whatever. Okay. So like, this is pretty impressive. Oh, yeah. Right. So he went to DeFazio's and gave DeFazio's like one of his highest ratings yeah, ever. Yeah, us too. I, I was like, I'm like, and was I live right down the road. Like they're down the block from me. And there's other, sp- like there's Kennedy's fried chicken down there, which is such a like, it's right on levels of, you'd have to live in the in the South to understand this reference, but it's on church, the level of church's chicken. If you've oh, never I lived in the South. That. Yeah. Like church's chicken can only be found in gas stations down in the south, <laughs> and it's amazing fried. You know chicken. it's good. <laughs> it's like gas station fried chicken. It's like Sunoco. It's like Circle K and churches. It, like every one of them is like that, and it's just so amazing. I told you, there's a fat kid that lives in my soul. <laughs> if it wasn't for the medieval gym that I've created for myself, I would just look like a, a tick on a dog's ass. That this is so bad for me. Because I love to eat, I just love to eat. We Amen. You're you're, you're, our, eat. you're our people, yes. Sean. Oh, yes. Like, and, and we got another one up here. You'd have to try like a Monty, a Monty's. Like, so Albany's like a weird food place. Like, you can find the Fazio's, which is amazing pizza. You yeah. can find like some really good food stuff around here that has like popped up over over recent time. But they can't make a cheesesteak up here if it freaking meant their life. <laughs> The best cheesesteak in Albany is Jersey Mike's. <laughs> Not Do you Jersey understand Mike's what you mean? Jersey Mike's is tasty. It is tasty. But it's You're not. New York, I, we know nothing about yeah, cheesesteak. We don't, we don't know. I lived out of, between Pizza Baltimore and Philly. Baltimore and Philly I've lived in. Oh, Listen yeah. Listen to me. Those like are... the first time I got a cheesesteak and I'm like, I need a cheesesteak, provolone cheese, lettuce, tomato, grilled onions, mayonnaise. And the girl goes, what you say? <laughs> I said, let me get a cheesesteak, provolone cheese, lettuce, tomato, grilled onions, mayonnaise. She then took my bun. And cut it all. Started cutting it all the way through like a sandwich. Oh! And I went, what are you doing? Oh, no, no. Jeez, we know that's a problem. No, no. She goes, no. What, what, what? What? I'm like, how am I supposed to eat that? Everything's gonna fall out of it. Yeah. And the and the owner had to go like, no, cut it like a hot dog bun. And it was like, oh, it's so bad. But this was one of those places that I do appreciate the fact that I don't care what time of the day you go into this place. It's a little yellow building in Waterville, New York, that um. Every time you walk out of there, you will smell like you bathed in onions. Nice. <laughs> it always smells like you bathed in onions. Sounds like our kind of place. So, yeah. so we've got a bunch of events coming up. You're going to be up in our area around yeah. the 29th and the 30th. So yeah. everybody around Saratoga, make sure you're on the lookout. Go ahead That's and right. go find them. You know, Jeremy will tell you what incant- incantation he used to sell his soul to still look like he's probably 30. <laughs> some bit right here. Uh, I don't know what he did, you know, and, and he used that magic to find this beautiful woman sitting next to him. So I don't know what, her, I don't know what, I don't know what evil he used, but I, I'm going to sit here with my big old gray beard and just deal with it. My wife will throw stuff at me later and be like, shut up, old man. So we've got all this going on. 
hopefully we, we can get up there. We've got that wedding. My wife and I will be recovered by then. Uh, drink queen drink. Uh, see, I still want to say Queensy. Quincy. Queensy. 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 All right. Let's drink Queensy. I wanted to yeah. uh, drink Queensy. And it's the Instagram is at drink Queensy uh, on Instagram and drink And that's drink. And then Quebec, November, Sierra Yankee, Q N S Y. Um, Anything else, any other locations, any other stuff you got for us before we pull the pull the shades down and we turn this turn the sign off and start sweeping up. Thank these you doors. so much. Thank you. Yeah, thank, thank you, you, Sean. Thank this you, was awesome. everyone out there that's tried the product and liked it, and all of our incredible retailers that are, took a chance on us. Um, and yeah, if, if you go on the website or on Instagram, the link in bio will take you to the page on the website where you can find the retailer nearest you. And if you have any questions, uh, you can always DM us or shoot us an email on website. We'd love to hear from people. If you want a swag pack, send us a DM or an email. We'll send you a swag pack. We'd love to share our fun stuff. And that's, and real and that's really it. They're real people. Real people. <laughs> they're human beings. Yes. They're not a bot that's going to answer you. They're real people. <laughs> that's right. No bots. That's right. No bots no allowed. Bot free zone. All right. That's so. Great. We're going to get ready to pull the shades on the bar. Do not disappear on me. I need to talk to you guys after the show. You yeah. know how it works. Everybody at, as the bar closes, you have to you got to split the tips. So we got to do those kind of things. <laughs> got to nice. split the tips here. All right. As always at on the show, the guests get the last word. So what's the last word for tonight? Drink queasy. <laughs> Drink two. Drink two. There you go. Drink two. All righty, folks. Be sure to push your stool in. <laughs> This has been an Earplug Podcast presentation found on EarplugPodcast.com, iTunes, SoundCloud, and wherever your favorite podcasts are found.